We're excited to be back. Another segment of Coach's Corner with David Jackson, President and CEO of the Boone Chamber of Commerce. David, great to always have you on. Coach, great to see you as well. Um, well, tell us what you've been up to. Obviously, you've been keeping Boone uh, healthy and safe, uh, helping with that. But what else are some things you've been up to during this uh, interesting time for all of us? Well, certainly an interesting time. Uh, you were right about that. But uh, there are a number of folks in the community uh, that have been trying to enhance communication uh, about the, the various things that, that are going on and, and ways that our community uh, can respond to that. Uh, everything from making sure that businesses have been aware of uh, some of the changes, both legislatively and, and also operationally, uh, that they are going to have to consider as they get ready to reopen. That's been a big part of the last few days, for sure. Um, uh, helping the, the uh, public health officials here message uh, uh, information. That's where the, the Keep Boone Healthy Facebook page really came from, was just another way to distribute uh, valuable information straight from the source uh, as, as we dealt with this crisis, especially early on. And now we're using that same channel to, to message changes that are coming down the way. Uh, and then also just uh, to uh, listen to people and, and understand, uh, you know, where they're coming from, uh, from a business standpoint, where some of those, uh, those push points have been in terms of unemployment, um, uh, you know, uh, seeing our economy change so drastically in, in such a short period of time that's left a lot of people uh, with their heads spinning. So we've, we've tried to connect people to resources as best as we can, uh, answer questions about loans and, and loan applications. I feel almost like a financial expert now uh, of, of talking about PPP loans and all of the, the things there. But uh, the biggest part, Coach, is we, we have tried to listen and connect people. And that, that's what a Chamber of Commerce does on a good day. And we feel like that is where we have been most valuable uh, to our community in, in helping be somewhat of a traffic cop of information and making sure people get the questions answered that they need to. Well, we appreciate all your hard work. And, and certainly we're doing our part with Takeout Tuesday and doing uh, everything we can to help Absolutely. out the local businesses and things. You, you haven't put on a Takeout Tuesday 10 or anything like that, have you? I have used that hashtag. <laughs> well, no, I just wondered if, you know, I saw Sean Clark the other day across the street at uh, my neighbor Justin Watts' house, and he looked like he had put on a Takeout Tuesday 15. Oh, I think I'm working on the 15. I think I'm working on Takeout 15. <laughs> That's good. Um, let's shift gears a little bit. You know, you've had so many great App State memories. What's one of your, you know, certainly – I don't want to spoil it. I don't know what it would be, but what would be some of your, your one of your best App State memories? Sure. So uh, we'll, we'll go basketball here uh, to start off with. I think uh, being a part of the San Juan shootout win uh, back in 06, 07 under Houston Fancher, uh, going down and beating uh, Virginia, Vanderbilt, uh, and Central Florida to, to win that title was an incredible memory. DJ Thompson, who I know you've had interaction with, uh, was an amazing basketball player, one of the best I've ever seen uh, anywhere period. And uh, he was in his element at that point in time, as was Dante Minter. And, and that was a special team to watch. Made the NIT that year. Um, and, uh, and, and that was a, a group that will go down in, in Appalachian basketball history is one of the ever uh, best ever to play. Um, I was a, a part of the NCAA tournament run uh, back in 2000. Uh, as Buzz was here for the, for the first time the last year. Um, we, we made the, the run of the big dance there. And uh, I think we beat Clemson that year too, if I remember right. I can't remember exactly. But um, Tyson Patterson, uh, watching him play was, was amazing as well. And, and I think that's one of the things that I always go back to is that, you know, whether it was Tyson, DJ, Donald Sims, you know, certainly uh, there have been others, but, but the guard play that Appalachian basketball has been able to bring in over decades has always been, you know, the, the calling card of the program. Uh, take that back to Daryl Robinson and, and uh, you know, uh, Heggie and, and uh, Ty Darner and, and all of those folks. Um, I was very fortunate to see some of the best years in, in program history and, and certainly very excited to see how successful you guys were. I'll be honest, I, I felt um, really out of place um, when, when you guys came over to Johnson City and, and I was on the call for that game for, for ETSU. Uh, that was the first time I'd, I'd called a game uh, with one of the app teams that I'd covered. And that was really bizarre. Uh, to, to walk yeah, in and see the black and gold in there, I was like, uh, I don't feel right. But I remember uh, seeing you there before the game. That was, yeah. that was, that was odd. But yeah, John John Mitchell was the like the lone person that was was there when I was there. So so there was uh, a little bit of familiarity there. But it was it was fun to see uh, the, the competitiveness. And I told uh, our our. Uh, 
analysts that, that I work with on those ESPN3 broadcasts, Bruce Trambarger, who I know you know as well, uh, we, we talk quite frequently about just how hard uh, the apps played uh, that night for you. And, and we thought that that was an instant show of a, of a change and that you, know, you can see when a new coach comes in, if, if the team plays hard, uh, no matter what the circumstances are, that, that's a sign of a coach and, and a team that are bought into each other. So uh, wasn't a surprise at all to see you guys have the success you did this year and, and certainly uh, look forward to, to more of that. Um, overall, best top uh, moment at App. Um, I know a lot of people point to Michigan, and that was certainly fun. Um, oh, yeah. Once in a, in a lifetime experience, especially with my dad there. That I've was, heard your voice uh, many times just watching it myself. Um, yeah, it, it haunts people in my house now, um, uh, more than, uh, is excited, but, uh, but it, it was, uh, you know, again, a special moment, something that, that our university will never be able to live down and that be a positive thing too. That that's sure. really rare. Um, but my cool. favorite all time app state moment, uh, was actually, uh, the baseball team going to the uh, regional final uh, in 2012 under Chris Pollard. Um, baseball at App State had been um, very up and down, mostly down, uh, you know, for, for a long, long period of time. And that team won 41 games and, and ended up beating Oklahoma, a team that, that had John Gray on it and, uh, and, and went up against uh, a Virginia team that was loaded with future major leaguers and beat them and, and knocking on the doorstep of going to the Super Regional and, and playing South Carolina. Uh, that was an amazing experience because it, it lasted over days. And, you know, you've been around college athletics to understand that the NCAA tournament's got a, a, a vibe of its own for basketball. It's got a vibe of its own for baseball, too. And to be wrapped up in that and see Appalachian winning games on a national stage uh, and being involved in that moment was something that I'll absolutely never forget. Um, that was a period of time where my mom was sick uh, before she passed away. And uh, that was a time where we were still able to connect during games and she knew what was going on. And, and that was a, a unique experience for our entire family and, and one that, again, I'll, I'll always treasure. Yeah, thanks for sharing that. That's a great story. Uh, last question. We'll, we'll shift gears a little bit. Uh, what, what show on Netflix are you watching right now? I got two. I've I've got a, a standby always, without question. Any time that I, I just need to zone out and and understand that I know enough about what's going on on the show without having to pay too much attention, it's the West Wing. Um, I've actually got a West Wing coffee mug right here, the there West Wing mug. Um, so so that's been one of my uh, my go tos. But right now, my wife and I are watching Community, hilarious show, absolutely I'm not, hilarious. I'm not seen that. Uh, it's it's a sitcom based on a setting of a bunch of students of varying ages in a community college. Uh, Chevy Chase is in it as the uh, the older, like 65 year old, going back to get whatever you know education thing checked off the list. And it, it's a hilarious show. I would highly recommend it. It is definitely not cerebral, which at these times sometimes we just all need to mentally check out. So it's sign a, me up a for that. Then. With that. Sign <laughs> me up for that. Well, David, great to have you on here. Thanks for all you're doing for the community. Uh, you're doing a great job, and we appreciate it. And, and, and great to have you on here in the first uh, show uh, episode of Coach's Corner. Well, thank you, Coach, and best of luck once you guys get back out on the court. I, I know you're going to make a lot of app fans proud, and we'll be right there uh, cheering you along as, uh, as you continue to, to bring winning basketball back to Boone. Thanks a lot. Go Mountaineers.